Good morning! I am filming a unedited day in my life. I've been seeing Brooke do this. I've seen Caitlin do this. I've seen Morgan do this. So if everyone else is gonna jump off the bridge, I will be jumping off with them. Duh, because I have no backbone. So um, unedited day in my life. Not to me, not to be confused with my other day in my life, because I do the bare minimum when it comes to editing. It is what it is. So I am very excited actually about this video because it will be a quick turnaround. You know. So today's Sunday. Cody's been gone all weekend. He had his friend's 30th birthday up in Cincinnati and I decided to stay back because <sighs> I decided to stay back because I've been gone every single weekend recently and I wanted to just relax. So I was able to clean, um, vacuum, organize, do some laundry. It's been pretty lit, so... There's that. But um, today I decided, well, I went to go film this video, right? And my camera was dead, so I had to charge it. So that's pretty accurate for like a day in my life video. Um, but we're gonna go to the thrift store. I'm gonna change right now. I'm in a sweatsuit because I self tanned last night and it just like didn't take on my neck. So that's like really cool, probably because I had so much lotion on. Um, but. I am going to change and then we are going to go to the thrift store so and I also need to put some dry shampoo in my hair because it's greasy ew I got this set active set from revolve um I got the brown one when I was in New York with revolve and then I bought this pretty purpley color it's my favorite thing you guys I love these sets and I'm lazy so hello from the most unflattering angle ever so for i got my set active set on playing drums with my boobs we're gonna do some my favorite dry shampoo which is living proof if you know you know it's like the only dry shampoo i actually find that helps my hair i'm trying to be better about um, not washing my hair as much, which is a big thing for me because I love to wash my hair personally. I'm a freak, I know. Um, then I am going to put some deodorant on. Wow, this is hot. Isn't this what everybody wants to be watching right now? Okay. So, this is my favorite brush. This is my bougie brush, you guys. Um, I got this on Revolve as I get everything. Um, this is Rain Cry. It's like a dupe for the, the is it the Mason Pearson? Mason Pearson brush? Um, whatever, I don't care. But all I know is I love it. So, it's the best. It just like gives your hair such a good shine. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so bangs looking fine, I guess. Earring or rings. I'm definitely wearing my Sarah ring today. Love that one. Let's do a little bit of a gold and silver action. Mm, no, keep it simple. Mm. So later I'm going to clean out my closet because shit is whack in here. Um, but I need a blazer, I think, because it's kind of, at least I think it's chilly. It might be chilly. I'm not sure. Probably just going to do my traditional oversized men's blazer. It's my favorite. I don't think it has a brand. A brand there's no brand. Dry clean only. Made in the United States. It's a sustainable blazer. Wow, we love that. Um, it's humongous though, and I love that. So I think I'll wear that on top. These are the shoes I'm wearing. Um, these are also from Revolve. Um, I'm pretty sure they're sold out though. They're Adidas, and they're really cool. I like the brown. According to my car, by the way, I always get questions about this. I drive a Grand Cherokee 2017. 
I own it. It's pretty lit. I love it so much, um, which is why I bought it. But according to my car, it's 85 degrees outside, which I don't think the blazer was necessary, but whatever. I'll wait. So I am wearing my Bottega sunglasses that so many people hate. I feel so fucking powerful in these sunglasses. Like when, when I put them on, you know how some people are like, oh, a tiara. Like that's, that's how I feel like a princess. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. The way to feel like a princess, these sunglasses, guys, I feel so powerful. Like honestly dress for yourself that is the biggest advice i can give you guys i get so many questions every single day being like okay by so many questions every single day i mean like one every single day but you know we like to over exaggerate as being an influencer it's part of like you know being an influencer um but people ask me like how do you feel confident or how do you wear whatever the frick you want and like not don't care about anyone i mean it's simple as what it's like the, the answer is in the question you truly have to not care what other people think i'm sure there's people who's gonna be like sarah you do care what you think um it's like a 90 percent. like no one's invincible everybody gets their feelings hurt sometimes but for the most part you just gotta you just gotta don't care and that's the tea okay anyway so now we're heading to the thrift store. I, okay, it's 79 degrees outside, so it's not 85. Still not exactly blazer weather, but whatever. Um, I need to tell you guys the story about how Maeve Riley gave me the up down because I think the story I don't think I told you guys this in the vlog. Maybe I did, I don't think I did. Why does it look like I've got, whatever. Um, so, these sunglasses, I was wearing them when Maeve Riley gave me the up down. What a flex, I know. I'm not trying to flex like too hard, but it's inevitable, you know? So, Caitlin and I were at, or we were in Soho, we were walking towards um, the film place, hold on, we're going around a turn. Caitlin and I were at, or in Soho, we were dropping film off and the film studio where we dropped off the film uh, was right around the corner from, is it Amy Leondor, is it Amy Leondor, Amy Leondor, Amy Leondor, one of the two, or maybe neither of those, um, was right around the corner and I wanted to go. It was Saturday and Soho was lit, so unfortunately the line was super long, but as we were walking up to the store, I stopped in my track and I was like, Caitlin, do you see who is sitting down drinking coffee right now? Because there's like a cafe for um, the store. And I'm like, it's literally fucking Mae Riley right there. And she was like, no, it's not. And then she was like, okay, yeah, it is. She was like, you need to go say something. I got too embarrassed because my cell phone case is like her brand. Like, I don't know if that's creepy or if that's cool. I don't know. Started overthinking. We decided to just walk past and I could feel someone looking at me. Um, and I turned to Caitlin after we walked past and I was like, who was staring at me? She's like, Maeve, she gave you the up down for like three seconds. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That's good enough for me. If just for her to react to my outfit, I don't know if it was a bad or good reaction. That's all that I can sleep at night. I can sleep at night and my, my camera will fall. Okay, we have now made it to Southern Thrift. I'm gonna thrift, take you guys along, show you guys the things that if I find anything. Um, if I don't, then this will be a fail, but this is my favorite thrift store. Everyone always asks. I cycle between all three of them because there's three locations here in Nashville. Um, Music City Thrift used to be really good, but it sucks now. 
Goodwill used to be good, sucks now. Not as good as it used to be, but we take what we can get. I love the trouser section for the men. You can find some cool low rise. not having much luck okay no luck at the thrift store but i do need to put some hand sanitizer on so i didn't buy anything mainly because i'm one of those freaks that have to buy like two things in order to like i can't just buy one thing i don't know does that make sense that's just me in a nutshell but now i'm going to go to another southern thrift hopefully have better luck there fingers crossed Okay, I'm at Southern Thrift, but do you guys see this car? I hope it's picking up on camera. It's literally like glitter. That's weird. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, wow. Okay. I am going to go into Southern Thrift now. Um, I stopped and got a Diet Coke. Now the ice is going to melt while I'm in the store. Okay, this is super unflattering, but I'm trying on some things. Wish me luck. Okay, there's no mirrors. <laughs> but here's the pants that come with it. I love brown. So probably. Done thrifting for the day. Gotta turn my car on. I spent $14 and I got three things. I got a men's suit, a woman's blazer, and then I got just like a wife beater. I hate that term, obviously. What are they called? Just like a white tank top. Um, and I'm gonna cut it because I keep seeing people saying We really that's... thought we were going to be like Monica Sorry. and Rachel. My, my audiobook because I'm 75 years old which in case you're wondering I'm listening to The Liars Girl. It's free on Audible. Um, not sponsored by Audible. Wish I was because I use it every month. But um, I keep seeing people crop these and I wear my hours one from Revolve all the freaking time that I'm like I need to like maybe have another one in the rotation that isn't the exact same. You know, this isn't groundbreaking. It was $2.99, but I'll show you everything. Once we get home, um, I'm gonna head home. Cody should be home. I'm gonna check his location. He should be home soon. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit. Um, he is about an hour and a half away. So I'm gonna go home, pick up a bit, and I'll update you guys then. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the thrift store, cause that's fun. So I tried on some of this stuff for you guys, but, and I also wanna cut this. So I got this little tank top and I'm going to crop it. It was $2.99. I can't believe they charged $2.99 for this, but like, whatever, I don't care. Um, Especially because you guys out in LA and all those popular cities, like your thrift store prices are insane, so I can't complain. I got this 
blazer which I loved and it was the 50% off color so I got it for $350 which I think is a great deal. I already showed you guys what that looks like on. And then finally I got a suit, a men's suit. I'm going to try this on. Yeah, I'm going to try this on real quick. Okay, this ended up fitting me high-waisted. What do we think? They said they were size 36, and they definitely are not. Um, <laughs> they definitely fit, like, high-waisted, so that's weird, but whatever. What do we think? Cute, right? Especially for 7 bucks. While I'm here, I'm going to give you guys an OOTD. So I wore these Bottega sunglasses like I talked about before. Hair is just kind of thrown back. We're not going to talk about it. I'm using this YSL bag. I can't remember what it's called. It's just like the little hobo bag. It's like a nice off-white color. It's good for like when I'm wearing too much color. Or if I don't have a bag to match the color that I'm wearing, which I do not. Then I've got the Set Active Revolve set on, which I absolutely love. Isn't it cute? So that was my outfit for thrifting. I also had shoes on, but I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to put my shoes back on. But Cody should be home soon. And then, oh, let me show you guys. So I bought, so, Here's the thing, you know how I was talking about how you just need to wear whatever the frick you want to wear? Listen here kids, I need to take my own advice sometimes. So there was a pair of denim jeans that I wanted back in July I think. And I was like, they are very expensive, they're from the brand At The Attico. And I was like, I don't need to be spending that kind of money, but also I was worried about what people would say when I wear them. I was like, they're gonna say I'm like, a 2010 goth but they ended up selling out and then I regretted it instantly I was like god damn it why did I do that needless to say I tracked them down I got them for a great price and I'm so excited they are the coolest cargo pants I've ever seen I just I'm all about like a statement pant or just statements in general, let's be honest, it's me. And I love the Attico. The Attico is like one of my favorite designers right now. If you follow me or if you listen to the podcast, you would know that. I love Jacques Mousse. I love the Attico just because they're not like afraid of color, which I respect. But I got those pants finally and I cannot wait to style them. They are so ugly cute, which I love that for myself. Ooh, wow, I look rough. So, forgot to pick up the vlog, typical day in the life situation. Um, Cody is finally back. You gonna do anything? Thank you. Um, oh, I couldn't tell from the viewfinder. We went to Five Guys. Wow, my makeup is so bad right now. For dinner, early dinner, because we both didn't eat very well today. Well, not saying that eating well is five guys, considering that's not exactly the most healthy thing we could get. Um, and now we're just chilling on the couch, living life. You know, the use. I need to clean and work on cleaning out my closet, but that's just not the vibe right now. Oh my goodness, you, you are so cute. Um, I am going to start figuring out what I want to keep and donate and all that stuff and list on Poshmark for my closet. I can't believe I'm here again. I feel like I just cleaned out my closet, but I'm to the point in my shirt section where I can't move anything. So we're just going to go through and decide what needs to go and what can stay. Okay, let's do this. It's gonna be the most unflattering angle ever. I 
I'm thinking this is going to leave. I haven't worn it. Um, I'm going to keep that. It's just a good cover up. Revolve. I'm going to Poshmark. I'll keep that. Oh, definitely keep this. This is my Orson Diaris. Love that. Wow, it's really dirty. Keeping it, I love. Um, okay, those are all keep. So that's exciting. I, I did get somewhere. I have two things, three things. Keep, keep, and keep, okay. Here are the keeps. Next, this bit. What is this? That, it, this is a, hmm, vintage shirt. I don't know. That's a maybe. We'll do a maybe pile. Show me your moo moo. I'm gonna donate that. Chloe, that was a birthday present from Cody. I'll keep that. LPA, I have not worn this in forever. What is this? This still has the tags on it, so I'm assuming that is going to go. I haven't worn this in a billion years. I have so many puffy sleeve shirts that I just like can't get myself to get rid of. Okay, there we go. I will keep... That's not bad. I got rid of like half of that stack. Okay, this one now. Oh, this one's definitely a keep. I love that one. What's this one? Um, what is this? Oh, so this shirt didn't really work out with me for me. If you saw my video with it, it's like, I don't know, it's from Revolve. It's kind of strange, but I posted it in a video. This is just a good thrifted plain shirt. I'm not very good at hanging stuff on the hangers. What is this from? H&M. Oh, I think this is Cody's. Is it? I don't know where this is from. Put that in Cody's section. Pretend like I did not take it. He was definitely looking for that recently. This Zara top that I just got. And this Ghani top, it's so good for layering in the winter time. Looks like this, it's like poplin. Is that what the proper term is? I'm not sure. So that one, there's that. Sorry, I was looking to see. Um, okay, this shirt. Um, I'm going to... I have so many plain white shirts, I just don't see me going for this one. That still has the tags on it, too. I don't know. I'm going to keep this because I do need more bodysuits. Um, what is this? Something from Zara. I've only worn it once, so I'm going to donate that. I've never worn this shirt. Okay. My fake Gucci or counterfeit or what? I don't know. This Zara bandana shirt. Never worn. I can't go to Zara anymore, guys. Okay. I love this bodysuit. I'm going to keep it. This black muscle tee. I just don't wear black except for like special occasion stuff like this. So I'm going to keep that keep this and keep this okay this is not going like I thought it would um, keep 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 I think it's time to part ways with this shirt keep 
feel like it's time to part ways with this set. I don't know. I really like it still though. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of getting rid of it just to get rid of something. Not good, not good. Getting rid of this set. I wore it in a video semi recently, but I've never worn it out. This corset, I love, so I'm gonna keep that. I haven't worn it, but I'm gonna keep it. Keep. I'm gonna keep that, keep that. Keep, keep. This set from Song of Style, only wore it once when I was in Miami. Time for that to go. Okay, and then this Zara padded shoulder shirt. I have never worn, still has the tags on it. So, just ran out of space, which is just the epitome of a unedited day in my life. But I did make some space, just a little bit, but progress. Um, I still have to do all this situation. I need to go through my jeans. I need to go through my dresses. I need to go. I wish I could just do like a snap transition and get this all situated, but I don't see that happening. So love that. Okay. So this sweater dress I'm going to get rid of. What is this? Oh, I love this dress. That's a keep. Um, that's a keep. I love that dress. It's a good one. I can't get rid of, like, anything white because I'm a freaking bride. Oh, it's my favorite dress. I'll say that for every freaking white dress. Pretty little thing. I'm gonna donate that. Um, this dress I've never worn. Oh, I love this dress, too. I haven't worn that yet, though. But it's brand new, so... I think it's time to get rid of this dress. I've never worn it, um, but it's so soft. Oh my god, I wish you guys could feel it. I'm pretty sure it's faux leather. Love that. I mean, I don't because I never wear it, but what about this dress? I don't see me ever wearing that. Goodbye. Um, I think it's time to pass this Ghani dress on to a new home. And I also think it's time for this dress to go to a new home as well, considering I've never once worn it. I love this dress, but I just don't feel like I'll ever wear it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't... I'm gonna... Maybe I'll hang it back up. Okay, I think it's time to say goodbye to these landmark dresses. These dresses were my... I can't. I can't do it. I'm not gonna... I can't do it, guys. These dresses were everything to me, and I feel like they're going to be one of those things that I'm going to regret selling because, I don't know, they're just so iconic. Like, these leather dresses from Free People from like three, four, five years ago maybe, I just can't. But I will move them upstairs because I just won't wear them. <sighs> okay. What is this? Okay, I haven't worn this dress. What should I do about this? I love this dress, but will I wear it? I like to think I will. Bought this when I was in Miami, never wore it. Also, I've never worn this dress either, so I just don't wear dresses as much as I wish I would. I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Oh, this is a lot easier than I expected. I absolutely cannot get rid of this House of Harlow dress. I love it. Never getting rid of it. This Zara dress. Time for you to go. You've never 
Never wore it. I'm a failure of a human. Denim, I can't get rid of. I, I love denim too much. Black, black. Okay. This set... Okay, honestly, I haven't worn it. Um, people told me I looked like a genie when I tried it on on TikTok. And ever since then, I haven't been able to unsee it. Um, what do we think? No. We're being, we're being crazy. It's cute, but I think it's time for it to go somewhere else. Also, I don't know. This dress, or this jumpsuit, haven't worn forever. Goodbye. I only wore it one time. Never probably going to wear it again. Because it kind of gives you a camel toe. Cody's going to come downstairs and be like, what happened? And I'm going to be like, I have no idea. I'm just going to talk like this. So you can't see my horrible zit. <laughs> it's later now. It's actually... 9 10. Um, I just finished my book, which was called The Liar's Girl. I read it on Audible. Well, listen to it, I guess you should say, on Audible, and it was so good. Big fan of it. Um, but I wanted to hop on here because it's like, I need to tell you guys why I'm excited that it's fall. Because fall candy or Halloween candy comes out, and this is very niche. And only a few percentage of people will understand. But I love Tootsie Rolls. Specifically, the log form. This is my favorite form of a Tootsie Roll. If you're familiar, delicious. But my all-time favorite candy, are you ready? Is the fruit Tootsie Rolls. And I was trying to find them at Walmart and all they had was like the variety pack. So I had to buy the variety pack, which was fine because I got these. But I'm on the hunt for just like the fruit flavored ones because I only eat the lemon, the lime, the pink, whatever, cherry maybe, and then the blue raspberry. But sometimes they don't have the blue raspberry and they only have the vanilla, which isn't fine because then they have like grape and green apple, which is gross. But I personally don't like the vanilla. Cody likes the vanilla. He's a freak. Anyway, um, what do I have to update you guys on? So, I don't know what I have to update you guys on, honestly. I have a vlog coming up soon with some vendor wedding updates, which I think will be fun. Um, also, if you guys haven't checked out my Amazon Lives, you should definitely do that. Because I have so many Amazon Lives. I go live at least once a week and I just show you guys all the cool stuff. Um, it's so much work. I'm shook. Like You have to spend so much time on Amazon trying to find all the best things. And you know, most people are like, oh, you just have to live stream and show off all the Amazon stuff. No, you have to buy all of it. And you can't just like return it all, you know? So I have so much Amazon stuff. But anyway, cleaned out my closet today. Um, and then tomorrow I am going to be posting all that stuff on Poshmark. Right now I'm washing it all. Ah, why is my life so hard? I'm just kidding. My life isn't hard. But yeah, so that's what I have going on. I have no idea if this vlog was any bit of entertainment. Probably was not. Um, because, you know, I'm pretty boring, but, yeah, so, I'm, like, trying to think about what I've even vlogged today. Have I even vlogged anything of substance? Probably not, but I'll try to post it because this is an unedited day in my life. Okay. I understand that these kind of look like turds, but they're so good. This is the best form of a Tootsie Roll. Oh my god. I love the two rolls. They are so good. They just don't make stuff like this anymore. Mmm. So good. So good. I need to record a podcast tomorrow.
We're behind. Oops. Okay, now that I finished my book, I'm going to go listen to the new Morbid episode. Give us. So oh, not mean to. I didn't mean right now. Unbelievable survival story of Holly K. Dunn. Hmm. I'll be listening to that right now. Okay. Well, I guess that's this vlog. Bye.